Good evening, guys. Madman Mandela coming at you live from the Garden of Garage here in beautiful Alabama on this beautiful, sexy Sunday. All right, guys. Uh, we got two consoles that we're uh, going to do tonight. Mr. Uh, Fast Eddie Smith. And we got good old uh, Mir Alley. Okay, and uh, this one here, this one was bought. This one, uh, Ed Smith was bought off the website. And uh, Mr. Alley here did a send-in with his console. And they both have 250 gig drives. They're up on Alliance line servers, along with a 10-day trial of The Purge for GTA 5. College Football Revamp version 11.2 for NCAA 14. BO2, MW3, and Ghost Soft Host, as well as Jiggy and Sentinel. All right? So anyway, uh, what we have here, we have a fine specimen of a trinity. Okay, and... Uh, just did this one today. We got her done for him. And, uh, you know, we loaded up the hard drive. Got it all going. We're going to boot it up right now. RGH, uh, RGH method 2, of course, with the Lexi's timing files. And we got an Ace uh, V3 in it. Okay. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to sync up the controller right here. And I'll make sure everything is synced up here. Here we go. All right. We're good. Yeah, there we go. Now, of course, my video decides to act like an asshole, but what else is new? That's that's always the way it goes, okay? You know, always. Let me plug that. No, it didn't reset. Oh, my God, I hate this thing. Oh, God, I hate my life. Hang on here. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me, uh, I gotta clear, it's gotta clear the video. I'm sorry about that. These, this HDMI switch is just a terrible, terrible thing. I freaking hate it, okay? I mean, I really do. And sometimes it just does that I, it's like and, and then for five consoles it's fine okay <laughs> i don't get it anyway okay look we're booting up okay we're gonna boot up into aurora all right we're gonna get some notifications on the server and everything let me just know it's online live and all that all right i'm gonna go through some things with you on this one the other one i'm gonna showcase all right because uh you know i want you to get it set up on, online for the first time without having any problems or anything like that all right as you can see we loaded up, we're, we logged into Alliance, all right, and of course you got your purge trial and everything. So, we're in the show all right now. Here is all of the stuff that's on the hard drive, of course, okay? Now, hitting the back button will bring you to your file manager, scripts, restart, reboot, and shut down, and give you your IP address. We'll back out of there. Hitting the start button, that will give you your assets, your profile, your content, okay? And this is, these are all the folders where all the content lives that's on the hard drive. Modules, language, security, and about, of course, all right? Then we'll back out of here, okay? Hitting the B button, it brings you to your filters and sort, your quick view, themes, scan, and display, you know? Okay, and then, of course, LB and RB, okay? LB, you can hit LB, it'll bring up a context menu. Hit RB, it'll bring up the context menu. That's the context menu right there. Use the D-pad to motivate either left or right, okay? So, we'll go to Xbox 360 games. As you can see, we start off, we got the Xbox original dashboard on there. All right, and of course, we got Battlefield, we got Call of Duty, we got all kinds of Call of Duties, we got all kinds of warring games. All kinds of gears of war crap, all right? Halo edition, of course, college football revamp, NCAA 14, you know, that's fully modded, ready to go, out of the box, okay? So anyway, we're going to go ahead, and uh, we'll go on over. There's your Xbox Live Arcade. There's a bunch of arcade games on there as well, okay? You got uh, your homebrew section where your tools live. Then, of course, you got your uh, your classic game, okay? Your classics, this is the original. These are the original games for the original Xbox from back in 2002, Okay, and they play on here as well in compatibility mode, okay? Then, of course, you got a couple indie games. you got a couple developer games. It's a small hard drive, so it's kind of hard to stuff everything on here, you know, to get the full spec. Some people, they just want games. Some people... So I try to do a complete complement of everything. So then that way, then, you know, you, 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 can, you can switch back and forth if you like emulators. I mean, you know, some people love emulators, and, you know, they're not really into too many Xbox games. Some people love Xbox games. They don't like the emulators, you know, so... You know, I leave it this way, and then, of course, if you want to, if you want space, you can delete stuff off of here. It's not a problem. Rip your stuff on here. That ain't no big deal either. That's what this thing's for. But anyway, you got your emulators right here. All right, like, this this burns me up every time, okay? Because, you know, when, when, when you go ahead and you can see, let's see here, okay? Refresh, download a cover, all right? Now, the first cover it's supposed to download is blank, okay? Official cover, okay? It's just blank. All right, now here's some really cool covers that you can, you know, but of course it ain't going to do that. It's only going to download the blank one. Pisses me off. So then you have to manually friggin' download the damn thing. There it is, okay, you know, I mean, hooray. So anyway, Nintendo, yes, that's what you got, okay? So anyway, all right, so we'll go back to show all, all right, you flying Mario. Hey, fucking a Mario, ah! Luigi, I got a piece of sausage for you, come here. All right, so anyway, 
All right, so there we are. We're good. We're going to make it on over to the Xbox 360 dashboard here. You're going to see, you're going to have, uh, well, you'll have 30 days. Don't worry about that. It's just the clock ticked over. It's on GMT time. So, you know, I mean, that's just the way the server runs. But uh, you'll have 30 days when you get it. As you can see, hello again, Fast Eddie. You're on Alliance Live. Welcome to Alliance Live. You're on Dashboard 17559. All right, so anyway, we'll go ahead. We'll hit that, and uh, you'll see that it's logged in. It's got a good KV. Everything's cool on it. Okay, if you hit the guide button, our beautiful eyeball-pleasing HUD. And then over in our fifth tab, we have our BF2 cheats, ghost cheats, and Modern Warfare 3 cheats. Okay, now mind you, remember last night I said I was going to have uh, Advanced Warf Warf Warfare cheats ready. Well, unfortunately, no, I'm not today. Because the simple fact is, is that we got it all done. And we did some, we did some more modifications to it. And of course, an offset decides to act like an asshole. Alright, so... <laughs> and it wouldn't load and everything. Then we finally got it to load, but... We want to make sure everything works. We don't want to give a, give out something that is, you know, I'm going to wind up getting a message. Hey, man, this thing isn't working right. You know, this doesn't work or that doesn't, you know, and I don't want to do that. You know, so I'm still testing it. All right. We ran over with it a little bit, but, you know, I mean, it's going to get on there. Don't worry about it. But when I release it, I don't want to have any problems. I want you to have fun with it. Okay. So, you know, anyway, that's what's going on with that. I'm sorry about that, guys. I really am. All right. So anyway, you got your cheats there. Okay. For right now. We'll go ahead, we'll go back to Xbox Home, we'll take it back to Aurora, alright? And um, then what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to load up a profile in here, okay? And uh, let's see here, we'll just do, a, I'm going to do a little local profile, okay? I'm not going to do anything online tonight, alright? I wanted to with Advanced Warfare, but unfortunately that didn't happen. I'm really pissed, okay? <laughs> but anyway, it's okay. So anyway, okay, we're logged in now, and now we'll go to the Xbox uh, 360 section, okay? Now, just show you NCAA Football 14, uh, College Football Revamped, okay? We hit that, and it's going to load up, all right? It's going to load up differently than EA Sports, of course, because it is modified, okay? As you can see, there we go, all right? You're going to have your College Football Revamp come up. Now, please go to the GitHub, College Football Revamp GitHub. Also, they have a Discord, okay? Also, Stu Douglas, okay? Good guy, good friend of mine. He, uh, he, he also offers help for you guys that, you know, have problems hashing a roster or whatever. So I can't hash them because I don't have your profile, and I'm not about to even try to do that stuff, okay? Because I just, you know, I'm too busy building these damn things, right? I ain't got time to mess with people's accounts, okay? However, though, when you do get your account, you have to hash the rosters to it. When you go to College Football Revamp GitHub, you'll see they have links for rosters and all that stuff. And uh, Stu Alford, he's like, if you need some help, you know, just message him, Stu Douglas on Facebook, and he'll help you hash the roster right to your profile. I just got to tell him that, you know, I sent you, and, you know, I mean, so he knows. And he also watches these streams and everything, so he knows what, where, how, and who. And you can message him, okay, and he'll help you, all right? You know, I mean, hash a roster or whatever for this crazy thing. But um, I'm going to tell you, though, right now, look, go to College Football Revamp GitHub. It's not that hard to hash the roster, okay? It's just got to have your profile. You got to have, you, you know, and you got to, you got to be able to hash it properly. You got to inject it and all that happy nonsense, okay? But, um, you know, the mod is on here, as you can see, all right? And, of course, it all works. Everything works just fine, okay? So, you got your Dynasty, your Road to Glory, Team Management, 2020 Season, Ultimate Team, Xbox Live, My NCAA Legacy, and EA Sports Extras, okay? Once you hash your roster and everything, then you can get online and play with your friends or whatever. You can get all the latest team jerseys, the whole nine yards, the helmets, the colors. They keep up with all of that. They got over 100 people writing for this thing, for this mod. So, you know, a lot of people are involved in it. And it's, uh, people love it, okay? So, you know, I mean, if you're into it, get on the GitHub. You'll see what I'm talking about. There's a bunch of links there, all right? Well, let me get out of here now, okay? Now what we'll do, all right? Zachary, how are you, man? Where the hell you been? Where the hell have you been, okay? Matthew, what's happening, brother? Good to see you, bro. Um, and uh, Zachary, Zachary's been around for a long time. I've known Zachary for many, many, many years. Okay, you know, what I mean? that's why I'm like, oh. and then he just popped up on my screen. Hey, <laughs> like a piece of popcorn. All right. Anyway, um, <laughs> it's good to see you, Zach. All right. So anyway, okay. So now we're back at show all. All right. Now, now, now let's do this. Okay. Look. All right. Um, just to show you here. Okay. Like, um like uh gta 5 okay a lot of people into gta 5 do a lot of role playing on it and everything now you know i mean there's a purge menu which has been around since 2015 really really good menu uh you know a pretty much a stable and, and and works great okay you know you're gonna get a text box when you pop up on here well, that's gonna pop up on here okay there you go we, we want to open the menu with left d pad x just hit a right here okay 
Yes, you're labeled Fast Eddie Smith. If you remember, if you remember the pool, um, that's right. There was a movie, okay, uh, with Jackie Gleason. And uh, he would, now this might be over your guys' heads or you might be too young for this to remember. All right, but um, it was about a couple of pool sharks, okay? You had Minnesota Fats, you had Fast Eddie, okay? And they had a, they had a, uh, a marathon pool Pool, pool game running run, run down there, and it was just, it's just a really, really amazing movie. That's where I come up with the idea. I'm gonna call him fucking Fast Eddie. All right, so <laughs> it just brings back a lot of memories, you know. And then I, then I start seeing Jackie Gleason. I'm like, oh my, oh my God, you know. What I mean, but hey, Alice to the moon, bitch. All right. So, anyway, <laughs> we're loading up. Okay, GTA. I'm gonna show you. Uh, I'm gonna show you the mod menu. All right. So that way, then you know what you got, and you know you know what you're doing, and everything else. I don't want you to have any problems with it, okay? I want you to get in there and understand it, you know? I mean, that's why I do this stuff, okay? Then I'm going to show you the off-hosts uh, for the uh, for Modern Warfare 3 and Ghosts and, uh, you know, and everything else. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll go over Sentinel and Jiggy real quick, all right? And I'll show you that. And then we'll go ahead, and I'm going to show you how to get it online for the first time. All right, so there's our buddy right there. You're going to make him walk outside here. Here we go. Nice sunny day, yes. It's the end of the day. Well, we're going to fix that, all right? Now... Right now, the menu is, uh, is uh, streaming from the server. Okay, so it takes it a second. So if you, if you hit D-pad, left, and X, it doesn't come up real quick. Just give it a second, and then just hit D-pad, left, and X, and it'll come right up, okay? So we'll go to Quick Start Options. We'll turn all this shit on right here, okay? There we go. And I'm just using the A button and the D-pad, all right? So, yeah, we'll turn that one off. Now, we'll hit B and back out to the uh, main menu. We'll go to Quick Options. We'll do Fly Mode, okay? You got teleport locations, teleport anywhere you want, you know, all that happy nonsense, online players, recovery options, character options. You got the bodyguard menu, you know I don't roll alone, I'm gonna go ahead and, there we are, okay, yeah, that's more like it, no zombies this time, okay? Yeah, hit the wrong button, and, and then the mother freaker gets on the bike with me, okay? I'm feeling his breath on my shoulder, I'm like going, ah, okay, so anyway, alright, yes, nipples, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, ooh, ah, uh, ah, uh, no, wait a minute, ah. Uh. There we are! Okay, yeah. It's bouncing, too. Okay, look at that. Yes. Oh, that's so nice. Anyway, okay, look, sorry. Uh, I, I kind of get distracted every now and then, okay? Object options, vehicle options, Los Santos customs, the whole nine yards, okay? You know, it's all there. We'll go back out of there. We're going to go ahead. We're going to go to MISC options, all right? We're going to put some sunshine on those nipples, okay, by doing this, and we'll back it up a little bit. And there they are, nice and bright. Yes, with a rainbow, kind of, yeah? They're nicely placed, I must admit that. They're, they're, they're nice. A little off on the areola, but it'll be... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, all right, anyway. All right, so, uh, yeah, we'll go over to weapons options, okay? And let's see here. We'll pick this dildo. I mean artillery gun here, okay? And, uh, yeah, we'll tank gun. And we'll use a Molotov gun. We'll use a flare gun. Yeah, what the hell, okay? We'll use fire ammo and explosive ammo. Oh, yeah, can't forget the grenade gun. You gotta have that, all right? So, anyway, there, we're done there, okay? So, we're back out of here. And now we can close the menu with D-pad left and X, okay? Tell the bitches, get out of my way. I'm going to slap your freaking tit if you don't get out of my way, okay? So anyway, yeah, we'll just grab a gun. Yeah, yeah. A good old AK-47 that is not really an AK-47 anymore, but it is a complete freaking anti-tank gun explosion grenade launching mother freaking dual mode vibrating freaking G-string fire setting fucking insane thing from hell, okay? As you can see. And it all works pretty good, all right? So anyway, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, that bitch went flying. All I saw was fucking legs and a G-string. So anyway, yeah. So pretty much that's what you can do with it, you know? I mean, there's a lot of things that you can do with it. Uh, You know, you can go you can go on over. What the? I, I hate when it does that. Okay. Anyway, we can go on over to, uh, let's see here. Where am I going? Oh, I know where I'm going. Okay. Yeah. No, Los Santos Customs, okay? Uh, yeah. Eh, uh, yeah, there we go, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll, uh, we'll spawn my favorite right here, okay, which bitch is getting on, okay, that's cool, yeah, y'all get on, there you go, yeah, here we go, oh, we just fly away, pretty easy, we can, we can do all kinds of crazy stuff with this thing and fly through the air with the greatest of ease, okay, you know, like I said, works real good, and then, you know, of course, you can control the menu and everything, that all works good, too, um, you can also, like, distribute strippers to make yourself some money, okay? That way then, yeah, yeah, you can go here, you can go here. You take downtown, you take uptown, 
you take uh you take freaking uh uh freaking uh onion mountain here or whatever okay so anyway yeah so pretty much we're done right there and we'll land in the parking lot right here there we go okay yeah people running and everything yeah get off the thing what are you running from huh what the fuck you running from huh what you got a fucking problem yeah come here come here come here oh you think you're gonna get away huh ah it didn't work out for you very well and i did it okay so anyway all kinds of crazy shit. That's, uh, that's Purge. And, uh, yeah, fun little menu right there. All right? So, anyway, we're going to get out of here now. All right. Now. <laughs> I know you are, Zach. I am, too. <laughs> it's crazy, man. I've been freaking, I, I, it's been nuttier than a fruitcake. Hey, Cav, how are you, man? Good to see you, brother. Um, so, anyway. <laughs> ah, sh Zach, you know me, man, okay? You, you, you know that nothing, that there's no bounds with me, okay? You know that, all right? I can't curb my freaking mouth. I'm a fucking Italian from freaking Jersey. What the fuck? All right? Yeah, from 33rd and 3rd, okay? Anyway, okay, look. So we're back here now. We're back at show wall, okay? I'm going to go ahead and uh, we'll fire up uh, a little bit of, uh, we'll do a little BO2 here, okay? A little, a little body odor too. I mean Black Ops 2. All right, we'll fire that up. All right. This will cover the off-host and as well as Jiggy and Sentinel, okay? Off-host, D-pad left to open it, exit select, beat it back out. D-pad left to close it. And then, of course, Jiggy holding left trigger, push down on the right thumbstick. That'll open it up. A to select, X to back out. No big deal, all right? So, anyway, once we make it past this freaking Dolby freaking advertisement here, okay? Which I'm freaking sick of already. All right, now, here we go. All right, we'll hit start. And we'll go to multiplayer right here. We'll go to multisexual multiplayer, all right? Yeah, there, yeah we're going to have a fucking orgy. With weapons, okay? <laughs> like the Penetrator, all right? So anyway, Black Ops 2, two Chiefs are loaded, okay? The all posts are loaded. All right, we're good. We're bypassed. Good. Do a little local game right here. We'll set up some crash test dummies. There we go, okay? Yeah, you, you know what we'll do? Yeah, we'll make them really fucking mean, okay? Yeah, there we go. Veteran, yeah, there you go. That'll work, okay? Anyway, we're going to start the match, okay? Now, like I said, we're jiggy. Holding left trigger, push down the right thumbstick. That'll open the menu. A to select, X to back out. The off post, D-pad left to open it. Okay, X to select, B to back out, D-pad left to close it. All right, this works for MW3 and Ghost right now. Okay, and we're working on the Advanced Warfare, which is going to be a little different from all of these. Okay, in fact, we're going to go, we're going to wind up going with the Advanced Warfare, um, you know, cheat as the main cheat for, you know, pretty much every single one of them is going to, we're going to see if we can, you know, if, if we can roll it into these games here too. So anyway, all right, start the match. Okay, enough talk. Let's get down to business here. All right. Now, freaking crazy thing is going to freaking load, all right? And then uh, we're going to open up the menu. I'm going to narrate it as I go. Uh, something that you're going to know with, with uh, Jiggy, okay? Look, holding left trigger, okay? Push push down, right thumbstick, there it is. Okay, you're going to use uh, you use A to select. We're going to go to main mods. I'm going to do quick mods, which is going to give me a bunch of shit right there, including God mode. Then I'm going to X to back out to the main menu. If you want to run this menu online, you have got to go to host only right here in a session all by yourself, just like I did. Go to host only and then force the host. Then back out of here, all right? And then back out of the out of the game itself. Then go into a public match and it'll force the host and you'll be the host. Now, mind you, it's going to make it harder to get people in the lobby because it's searching for people that are closest to you to make the game good. All right? So just a warning, all right? You know? But with the off host, you don't need to do that, okay? You know, if you just want to run the off host, you can't, all right? So anyway, I'm going to do some modifications here now. Yeah, I'm going to do swarms and grenades, okay? And then I'm going to do some flare bullets, dog bullets. Yeah, cobra bullets. Yeah, I might as well do some rockets too, all right? And we'll back out of here. All right, we'll back out of here. Now, the off host, D-pad left to open it. Very less invasive, as you can see. All right, up top here. There you go. Hope you can see a little better. All right. Now, uh, we'll hit X to select, and we'll turn all this shit on right here. Okay, and we'll go to aimbot. We'll turn that on. I'm going to do on screen. No, I don't want to do crosshair. I want to do snap. I want to do on screen. Okay, target details, ESP. We're going to turn that on. Pyramids, and you set it any which way you want to, okay? And D-pad left to close the menu. Run out here. When it turns blue, let them have it, okay? As you can see, it doesn't matter that they're veterans. It doesn't matter anything because they're all going to freaking die, as you can see. Okay, now, when in doubt, yeah, that was a quad kill right there, okay? So anyway, when in doubt, okay, uh, you can go to aimbot right here and really piss off a whole bunch of people by hitting unfair aimbot. 
Now you get automatic headshots through building schools and everything else. The match is over with. You win. Hooray for you. You never died. And everybody is now pissed off at you. Hate your freaking guts. You're going to get all kinds of freaking messages stating that, you, that they reported you. And you're going to probably wind up getting your profile banned. Although, I did that on Advanced Warfare. Pissed everybody off. Got a bunch of hate mail. We reported you. I was like, do you think I give a fuck? All right, really? Seriously? I don't. All right? And it still hasn't banned my profile, so life is good. <laughs> anyway, okay, so there we are. All right, now, look, uh, zombies, pretty easy. All right, we'll just go ahead. We'll back out of here. We'll go ahead. We'll run over to zombies. And like I said, the off host, it's a, the same across the board for all of them, okay? So, you know, the reason why I'm doing this is because, you know, Jiggy and Sentinel are on this particular game, okay? They were made for this game, all right? So I'm going to do a little local game real quick, all right, just to show you. All right, here we go. Yeah, we'll start off. We'll start off in transit. Okay, good. Start the match now. Sentinel holding left trigger, push down the right thumbstick. That'll open it up. X to select. Okay, pushing on the right thumbstick to back out. All right. Very simple menu. All right. It's a fully loaded menu. I'll tell you, it's got a lot of options on it, and there's a lot of crazy shit that you can do. All right. So um, anyway, here we are. Okay, now holding left trigger, push down right thumbstick. X to select. Turn God Mode on, Infinite Ammo on. We'll do a little bit of Unlimited Sprint, a little double speed, a little no clip. And we'll toggle the aimbot. Then we'll push in the right thumbstick. We'll grab something that is, uh, that will take care of things very, very quickly. Like this thing right here. Okay? Now we'll go wake up the zombies. Hey guys, wake up. Come on. Come on. Time to earn your pay. Let's go here. Okay? Yeah. Coffee, anybody? All right. Now I just pissed them all off and everything. Okay? Pretty much just point and pull the trigger. And they're all going to die, every single one of them, okay? And as you can see, they're all dead, all right? So, works really good. Uh, you got, uh, let's see here. You got personal mods, weapons mods, fun menu models, menu, forge menu, zombie menu, power-ups menu, rounds menu, teleport, map mods, lobby mods, game settings, menu settings, players menu, all players menu. You know, everything that you need is, on, is, is right there, all right? So, you know, I mean, there you go. Then to close it, just press it on the right thumbstick. That'll close it out, all right? So, anyway, we're done there, okay? Now we're going to get to the crazy part, okay? How to get this thing up on online for the first time. Now, this is important. You really need to, uh, you really need to go. <laughs> she is on the finger. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I put the finger on you, all right? So anyway, okay, look. Here's the deal here, okay? We're going to go through how to get this thing online for the first time. Rather important, okay? Because if you don't do this, you're not going to get online. All right. In fact, you're going to have a headache. You're going to wind up messaging me, and I'm going to say, did you watch the video? You're going to say no, and I'm going to slap you. All right. Don't make me slap you, Eddie. Okay, please. Okay. Kind of like you. I want to keep you around for a while. So anyway, very simple to do this. Okay. When you first get this thing, and you only have to do this one time, unless you go to somebody else's house, then you got to set it up on their network. And then when you get back home, you got to set it back up on your network. Okay. But for the most part, if it's going to stay stationary in your own home, you only got to do this once. Okay. So it's a pain in the ass once, but you got to do it, all right? Look, it's not really a pain in the ass. It's just, it, it, just it, can, it, can, it can get cumbersome, okay? But anyway, this is what you got to do when you first get this crazy thing, okay? Don't power it on. Don't do that. First thing I want you to do is I want you to open the drive door right here, okay? And I want you to grab hold of the hard drive. I want you to slip it out of here because this is the easiest way to do this. Plug it in, get your controller ready, plug your HDMI cord in and everything. Then power on the console, all right? Now... Once the console boots, it's going to go to the original dashboard, okay? And, um, all right, there we go. Oh, HDMI is playing nice. <laughs> I'm happy. Okay, anyway, okay, you're going to boot up. You're going to get to the original dashboard. Now, you don't want to connect to Xbox Live right now because you have no server. With no stealth server, it will instantly ban the KV, okay? So, I'm going to explain that in a second here. Go up, go over, go to settings, go to system, go to network settings. Really simple. Your Wi-Fi is going to pop up over here. Click on it. Put your password in. When you do that, it's going to automatically test the Xbox Live connection just the way I just tested it manually. You're going to get a check mark and two red X's. Okay? That's good. Now, on a stock Xbox, that's bad. But on an RGH, that's good. Because why? We're blocking the connections to Xbox Live. Because we don't have a stealth server. All that shit's on here. So it's kind of hard for it to access the self server when they're not plugged in. You see where I'm going with this, right? Okay. All right, look. Okay, we don't want it to connect. The simple fact is, is the minute you connect to Xbox Live without a self server, it will ban the KV in a half a heartbeat. Okay? So that's the reason why you got to do this. Okay? 
So anyway, most important thing of this is you get that check mark. You get the check mark, life is grand, okay? The two red X's, we don't care about them, all right? If you don't get a check mark, though, you better check your freaking router. Because in plain English, the router is not, con not letting the Xbox connect. I'm running a Netgear Nighthawk router. It's a standard friggin' router. And if your settings are standard, we have WP, WP2SK for security, it should connect. Okay? And also, you gotta remember this too. If you have your router set to 5 gigahertz only, this th you're not gonna see this thing. This is 2.4 gigahertz. So make sure your router runs both ways. Make sure she's ACDC, okay? You get it? Okay? You understand? And, uh, you know, and also, if you're running some kind of crazy security scheme, that's on you, all right? Typical, I have WP2SK, so it connects, boom, that's it, plain and simple. Once you get that connection, power the stupid thing off, all right? Then what I want you to do, <clears throat> get the freaking hard drive, slip it in, close the drive door, like that. Most important part of this is pull this freaking power cord and leave it out for five minutes, if you don't leave it out for five minutes, it's not going to connect. It's that simple, okay? I'm not going to go into an explanation. Though. It's just not going to work. End of story. So leave this out for five minutes. Once five minutes is up, then you plug it back in. And the only reason why I am, it's already on my network, so I don't have to worry about the DNS getting all kinds of errors and crap, okay? So you plug it back in after five minutes, power the unit up, all right? Didn't mean to hit eject. Leave that. I hope that that didn't screw up the boot. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Because it'll go into bypass mode, and then it will never connect to the network or anything like that. And that would be a bad thing, okay? We don't need to do that, all right? So, anyway. Um, yeah, I might have... You, you lousy little... You, you, you son of a... I hate this damn thing. I have got to get a new HDMI switch. See what I'm saying? Okay? You know? Pull HDMI cord, plug it back in. Friggin' what, what the frick? All right, so anyway... Yeah, it's not hand shaking with the with the with the with the monitor, right? Anyway, okay. So look, we we'll boot it up. Okay, green stop moving around. That's good. You're gonna see a roar load. You're gonna get notifications letting you know that you connected to the server and everything, and all your plugins are good. All right. First thing I want you to do after that is I want you to go over here. I want you to go to uh, the original Xbox dashboard. All right. Now that's also located in the homebrew tools as well. Okay, I'm just going here because it's real quick. All right, now, you should get a square with your name on it. If you get that square, you're good. If you get the spinning circle of debt, that's bad. You didn't leave it out long enough. So, therefore, uh, unplug it from the back and let it sit for five minutes. Realistically, thank you. All right. Now, you'll get this. Okay, we're good. Got it. All right. Now, you go to xbox.com uh, slash live. Make yourself a profile. Use Outlook for the credentials. Make sure you use a proper phone number so you can verify the account. Because if you don't do that, and they decide... Hey, this might be a spam email, so they will they will disable the account, all right? And then they will try to send you a text, no phone number, you ain't going to get verified, guess what? You, you just wasted your time, okay? So, please, put a valid phone number in it, okay? Make your account. Now, if you have an existing account, a retail account, you care about, don't put it on an RGH. Make a modder's account, all right? Modify that one from a distance, okay? And leave it alone, because if you're going to use your retail uh, account, on a standard Xbox and want to enjoy it without having to worry about it ever getting screwed up, don't put it on here, okay? Because <clears throat> it's not so much my server giving you a problem. No. It's more along the lines of if you do something stupid in BO2, you piss off people, they will report your account. Now, you can change a KV. That's not a big deal. But you cannot ch get your account back, period. Because once they deem it, you know, that it was, that was flagged for cheating, okay, guess what? You ain't getting it back, period. Okay, so make yourself a modest account, take up a funny name, take up a funny password, go ahead, log into it, modify your retail account from the, from the modest account and be done with it, okay? But anyway, once you do that, okay, and you make the account on, on, on xboxlive.com, go to download the profile and download the profile. It'll look like something like this, all right? You'll see a screen, a white screen will pop up saying download, it'll ask you for the password to it and everything. It'll say downloading, it'll download, and then it will load the profile and bring you here. Now, in the event that you're sitting there for 15 minutes going, what the hell is going on? Why is this thing not downloaded? Well, it got an error. That's what happened. And, of course, Microsoft is not nice enough to tell you, hey, there was a problem downloading your profile. It'll just sit there for a half an hour, you know, and you're like, oh, what the freak? Now, listen, if you're sitting there more than 15 minutes, back out of that screen, come here, and I'm going to show you how to fix it. Go up, go over, settings, system, storage, hit the, hit the hard drive, 
Go to Profiles, okay? Now, you will see under this profile will be the nasty little profile that you tried to download that got corrupted, okay? Highlight it, click A on it, and delete it right off the hard drive and get rid of it, okay? Once you get rid of it, back out of here, back out of here, all right? Back out of here, leave that highlighted right there, hit Y, clear the system cache, do it twice, so that's once, then do it just one more time, just for good measure, that's twice, okay? And then back out of here, back out of here, go up, go over, go to social, sign in, sign out, guess what? Redownload the profile, it will download, okay? Once you do that, hit the guide button. Go back to Xbox Home. That'll take you back to Aurora. Now, you're going to make this program your best friend. It's called XM360, all right? Now, just for the hell of it, all right, what I want you to do, I want you to run this program right here. I want you to just, just highlight it and click A, all right? <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to load everything that's on the hard drive, and we're going to make sure it's unlocked, okay? If it's not unlocked, you can't use it. So it's got to be unlocked, all right? So we're going to make sure of it with this program here because that's what this program does, okay? If you download content off the Internet, off of a torrent site, all right, and you put it on here, you got to remember to unlock it. If you don't unlock it, yeah, bad thing, okay? You won't be able to use it, plain and simple. So anyway, we're gonna, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have it rescan all. Just hit rescan all just for the hell of it to make sure it's reading through the hard drive and everything else. It's going through everything right now. All right, and we're just about there. And here we go. It's right in the game content bin. Okay, we're good. Then go over, unlock XBLA. Okay, we're good. Show DLC. It's all your downloadable content. Bring it over here. Unlock DLC. Okay, we're good. All right, we're done. Now, exit the dash. Life is grand. Okay, if you put software on there, you put DLC on there, it will find it. And it will unlock it, okay? It's that simple. So, you know, you run that program to unlock your shit, all right? That's simple, okay? So, anyway, now you're good to go and run off and do anything that you want, okay? Now, here's the deal here. Let me show you something else here, too, okay? Look. All right, emulators, okay? Pretty much, I'm going to use MAME. MAME has over 7,000 ROMs alone. Start it up, okay? You get a blue screen just like Windows, just like Windows 10 when it dies, okay? Except this one works. All right, now, okay. Right here is your ROMs, your game ROMs, okay? Now, if you go down page by page, okay, using the right trigger to go down page by page. Use the left trigger to go up page by page. They're all the way back to 1977, okay? So, you know, A to launch the game, Y for options. When you're in the game, you're pushing on both thumbsticks, you're going to get a sub-menu. If there's a mod for that game, you can use it. You can change the pixels, the shaders, and all that crap on it, all right? Once you're done with this thing, hit the guide button. Go back to Xbox Home. Very simplistic, okay? No big deal. And then you can run whatever the hell else you want to run, okay? Now, all right, we'll go over here, and I'm going to show you something else here, too, okay? Look, classic games, if you try to play a classic game on this thing, you can't play it with the server on, okay? When you have this guide, you cannot play it, okay? You have this fancy guide or whatever. You got to put the system in bypass mode, otherwise you'll get a black screen. So, what's bypass mode? Well, this is bypass mode right here, all right? Look. Power it off when you want to play a classic game. Power it back on. Hit eject. Leave the tray hanging out, okay? And uh, Aurora will suck it in, all right, once, once Aurora boots and everything, all right? And we'll just put it in bypass mode. Ain't no big deal, all right? So just leave that out, and you'll see we'll make it, and there'll be no plugins loaded, and there will be no server. There will be no Internet connection. There will only You'll have a local area network, and that's about it, okay? Which is what we want anyway. All right, so anyway, now here we go. Loading, okay, no plugins, no nothing, all right? Now, we'll hit the guide button just to show you here, and you'll notice that you have a stock gray Aurora guide. That's it, okay? The plugin is not loaded on Dash Launch. It's that simple, okay? So anyway, back out of here. Now, we'll go over to Classic Games, and now we can play a Classic Game. All right, there we go. Game starting, life is grand, it's going to start up, and it's going to play. Just like it did back in 2002 to 2005 on the original black Xbox that looks like an X, okay? Which is actually one of the nicer cases, I think. All right, so, anyway, as you can see, there it goes, okay? Life is good, thug, yep, and there it is, okay? Plain and simple. And you could load more classic games on here if you want, 
You know, I mean, you know, or you, you know, and, and they're readily download downloadable. You go, you can go to arcadepunks.com, go in there, go to uh, miscellaneous stuff, and you'll see that they have a they, that they have a download for Xbox games. They've got they, they've got one. It's got over four terabytes worth of games. Okay, worth of the uh, worth of the original Xbox games. So as you can see, it all works and everything. Now, once you're done with it, you hit the guide button. You go back home. Now I'm going to tell you though right now, with Aurora for some reason, the uh, the actual um, the actual compatibility file for the old Xbox and Aurora they clash sometimes. So it might crash on an exit. Just to let you know. But it ain't going to hurt anything, okay? Fatal Crash is nothing but it rebooting, okay? There's some, something ha happened in the segment of memory, all right? So, we'll see what happens here. We'll hit Guide. Yep, see, right there, boom, it does that, okay? Ain't no big deal. Just let it go, and it'll bring you back to a war anyway, and you can still play another classic game. It doesn't make a bit of difference, okay? So, it, that's just, it doesn't happen to me with FSD, but it happens with Aurora. I don't know why. Okay, somebody's poking or peeking something that they don't need to be poking and peeking about, okay? Or your memory leak or something like that. But anyway, you know, I'm not, I, I, I don't know because I can't go into detail with that because I really don't know. All right. But I can tell you this, though. Something is accessing something it shouldn't be accessing. Okay. That's simple. So anyway, that's how you play a classic game on this thing. Okay. Now. All right. File manager. Remember I talked about that? All right. There's your file manager right there. Almost the same thing like FSD. All right. Except now. All right. You hit the right. Hit the RB. You got this, this, this right window pane here. LB, you got this window pane right here. You want to copy a folder or a file over or whatever? Well, that's no big deal. All right? USB stick. Formatted, FAT32. Take your shit, put it on here. Whatever you want to copy over, just take it, put it in there, put it on the USB stick. Plug it in the freaking Xbox. You'll see a notification come up. All right, saying that there's one installed. There you are, USB. We're going to go to the right window pane. We're going to open up the USB stick. All right? We're going to go down. Let's say it's a mod menu that you want to put on here. No big deal. All right, so we'll grab hold of it, hit X to select it, copy, hit LB, go to HDD1, okay? All mod menus and KV, KV.bins and everything always go in, you know, always go in the root of the drive. So, here we are, we're in, we're in the root of the drive, HDD1, bring it over here, okay? Paste, yes, boom, okay? There's your mod menu right there, all right? Plain and simple. Now. Okay, once you get a little more advanced with the file manager, you understand it, okay? I'll show you something else, too, okay? Once you get a mod menu on there like that right there, and let's say you want to put it in here, okay? It's real easy to do. You go to the homebrew section right here. You go to dash launch, default.xex. It'll fire up dash launch right here. Go down to plugins, and now I'll show you what I'm talking about here, okay? Let's say you want to put that plugin in. Okay, it's real easy. Just hit A at the plugin. All right, and then it's going to open up the hard drive. Go down here. Here's the menu right there. Hit A. There it is. Then, RB, highlight HDD, X to save it, B to back out. It's that simple. All right? You know, if you don't save it, it's not going to save that plugin. It is that simple. Okay? Just so you know. Okay? So, anyway, what I'm going to do is make sure because I don't, because that, 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 that's a very, very old menu back before 17559 and it doesn't work. Plain and damn simple. Okay? So, anyway. We'll go ahead, we'll open up the plugin again. We'll put this back in here. All right, then RB, highlight HDD, X to save it. It'll tell you that it's saved. B to back out, it'll reboot into Aurora. Okay? Real simple. And that's how you set a menu after you put it on, after you put it on the hard drive, okay? So, we'll go back to File Manager. Now, we're gonna get rid of it, okay? So we're gonna go to HDD1. Okay, there we are, there it is, X, and then we go delete, A, yes, and it's gone, that simple. Pull the USB stick out, we're good. Now, for those of you who are a little bit more adventurous, okay, well, you can go ahead, you can download WinSCP for Windows, FileZilla for Linux, um, you know, you can use Mac File Transfer Protocol, FTP. Or you, if you really are really, really like pain and suffering, you can go to, you can go on your phone, go to the Play Store and download an FTP client, okay? I'll show you how to use a computer to go ahead and copy and paste files and folders over, okay? Because it's very easy. All right, look. 192.168.1.19. That's the IP of this damn thing, okay? Look. I'm going to open up my computer now. Grab hold of me mouse. Okay? All right. 
Now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, you download WinSCP. I mean, it's just like a normal Windows program, and you just you just put it in here like a normal Windows program. Okay, once you install it, and I hope that you can see that. There we go. All right. Once you install it, we'll go to WinSCP. We'll fire this thing up right here. Click on it. Open it up. There it is. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do here, make sure the IP address here. Sometimes I forget. Getting old is fucking, uh, getting old is, uh, anybody says that these are the golden years? <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, tell me another one. Okay, 192.168.1.19, okay, so, we're good there? So now what we're going to do, we're going to choose a protocol, which is going to be FTP. No encryption, port 21, always. 192.168.1.19, okay? Username, you're going to put in Xbox FTP. Tab over, password, Xbox, FTP. All right, all lowercase. Login, connecting, reading remote directory. There's the hard drive right there, HTD1, right here, okay? That's what you're going to mess with. Okay, and as you can see, your plugins and everything else. Copy and paste the file folder. Grab hold of some bitch, bring it, whoop. Didn't want to do that. Get the hell out of here, okay? Grab it, drag it, drop it. It's copied. Right there. Okay? Now, delete it. Right click. Delete. Good. Okay. So, if you're copying a uh, KB.bin or a menu or whatever, that's where it goes. If you're going to copy a full game, if you downloaded a game, got it on your computer in a folder, well, you can go, you, you, the game's folder right here, make sure that the game has its own folder. You grab hold of it, right? And then you just put it right, in, right where it highlights games, and then just let it go and drop it, and it'll put it in there. Okay? Real simple. All right? That's how you drag it. That's how you bring a game over. And then you go into Aurora and you rescan it. Okay, you scan you scan the paths again. Okay. And then it'll bring up the game, download the title artwork, download your title update, and you're good to go. Alright? So, anyway, that's how you use FTP. Now, if you like pain and suffering, you can download Xbox 360 Neighborhood SDK. Okay, just Google Xbox 360 Neighborhood SDK. Go to a link. Download the son bitch. Put it on the computer, okay? Then all you got to do is you just double click on it. You'll wind up with a green blob right there, okay? We're going to go ahead and we're going to add. Now, this one is gone, so we're going to get rid of that. Real simple to add one. There you go. Next, okay? Now, you can type in JTAG. I got to type in the IP address of this thing. But you can type in JTAG and it'll find it. 192.168.1.19, okay? Hit next. Okay, now gonna ask you if you want to make your default you hit yes i'm gonna hit no okay because i don't need a default xbox i got them running through here left and right okay so anyway next good finish good there it is right there okay right click on it open explore reboot screen capture synchronized time security set default xbox deleting properties okay to open it up double click on it give it a second that's the way that this thing works it just takes its sweet time on some of them it's real fast on some of them it's real slow don't ask me. I'm not the freaking idiot engineer from, from MIT that designed the damn thing. I have no clue. All right? So anyway, volume HED1, double click on that. <coughs> Excuse me. And, of course, we're going to get the spinning circle of death again. we got to wait. Yeah, 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 we know, we know. Come on, get on with it. Let's go here. I ain't got a freaking night. And neither of these people. Don't you love this? <clears throat> Microsoft at its best, okay? There you are. Your files, your folders, and everything else, okay? Now, wherever you want to copy a file from, all right, just open up an instance of Explorer right here. Right-click. File Explorer. Okay? Then just go to, uh, let's see, I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to grab hold of uh, this file right here. Okay? Left-click, drag it. Give it a second. It takes its sweet time, like I said, drop it. There it is. To delete it, right click. And then go to delete. It'll give you a dialogue asking, are you sure? Yeah, I'm freaking sure. And then it's going to be gone. Okay? Copy and paste the files and folders over. It's very, very, very simple. All right? And there you have it. Okay? That's how you do that. Pretty simple. Now, remember when I said, you go ahead and you can, you know, copy a game over. You know, through FTP. It takes some time, but you can do it. 
all right? Or you rip it from disc or whatever, right? Well, when you're done with that and it's done copying over, you go ahead, hit the start button, all right? Bring it to content, scan now. It will find the game and it will put it in the games folder just like it should, all right? Then it will download the title artwork, all right? Then once you get the game, like I say this is the game, then what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to go ahead, you're going to hit Y over the game, okay? You're going to go here. Notice it says title updates. Hit A. All right, now this one already has a title update. Now, if yours doesn't have a title update, just uh, D-pad to the right. Go over here, and there's your, there's your title update, and you can download, okay, as you can see. All right, it's coming from the cloud, okay? Hit download, and then once it's finished downloading, all right, come back over here and set it. So that way then it's enabled, okay? This is disabled. This is enabled. Got it? Good. And that's it. Once you enable it, run the game. Everything's fine and dandy. So, Fast Eddie, thank you for your business, brother. Greatly do appreciate it. Thanks for letting me use your console for demonstration purposes. And, you know, because, um, you know, like I said, I'm not responsible for what you do with this crazy thing, okay? So, anyway, listen, thanks again for your business, man. I greatly do appreciate it. All right, and now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to showcase uh, Ali Mears here, okay? So, We'll turn this one off. All right, let me grab Allie's here. And Allie, you had a profile on your hard drive, and yes, I did save it. Okay, Mir Alley. I'm sorry. It's Mir Alley, not Ali Mir. Oh my God. All right. So, anyway, let me plug the HDMI cord in here. Okay. Hey Mir, that look familiar? Yeah, sure. It's right there. Okay. And I saved your profile on it too, by the way. Okay. So anyway. We'll go ahead, we'll boot this one up. Let me uh, sync up a controller with this thing here. Hang on here. There we go. Okay, good. It's synced up, all right? Yeah, and of course, as usual. Yeah. Like I said. <laughs> all right. Anyway, okay. Now look, we're booting up. Everything's good. You will see, my friend, that it's going to log into Alliance. Uh, to Alliance, you got the same compliment that good old Fast Eddie has here. Okay, so there you are. All right, now RB, here's your games, all of them, of course, already loaded. I know she had an NCAA football 14 profile on there. Okay, as well. Okay, well under your profile anyway. You had game saves on there. All right, Xbox Live Arcade. Your homebrew section, your classic games, your indie games, your emulators. I hate that son of a... Sorry, that now bothers me. It bothers me really bad when I see that stuff, okay, you know? I mean, just, 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 ugh. Yeah, we'll use that one there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, there. There, okay? So anyway, there. Fixed. Sorry, it just makes me nuts. All right, and then we're back to show all. All right, now, we'll bring it over here. We'll get her online, make sure everything's all kosher and everything else, which it should be. There you, there you are. Hello again, Mir Ali. You're on Alliance Live. Welcome to Alliance Live. You're on Dashboard 17559. Only have 29. You'll have 30, I promise, okay? When you get it, I promise you, okay? Anyway, hit A. And as you can see, I saved your profile on here for you, so that way it's good to go. I'm not signing into it. I'm not doing that, okay? Just... Not happening, okay? I rarely do that, and I'm not going to do it to you. So anyway, as you can see, it's up, it's online, everything is good. We'll bring this back. And that's going to take us back to Aurora. And there we are. Okay, now, just so you know here, all right, go to File Manager, HD1, go to Content. That's your profile right there. Okay, as you can see, I see your game saves. I know exactly what the heck you run and everything else. Okay, so there you go. All right So anyway, there it is Okay, so listen Mir, Thank you so much for your business man. Greatly do appreciate it We're gonna ship it off tomorrow. You'll have tracking numbers. All of them will have tracking numbers tomorrow They will all be shipped tomorrow morning. Okay, so just to let you know guys listen Thanks for watching. I greatly do appreciate it. You guys are awesome. All right. I hope that you have a great night I got a lot more to do. Oh, my God, I got a ton to do. So, anyway, I'm doing. I'm doing everything, okay? And, uh, Michael.
Thank you, Michael. I appreciate it, man. I enjoy doing it. It's fun. You know, I mean, everybody thinks, you know, oh, he's making Buku money and all this. I'm like, all right, let, I, I, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to lay this out for you. Okay. All right. Here it is. Okay. Cause I have a couple people. You say, man, give me one. Can I have one for 50 bucks? I'm like, okay, let me explain why I can't do that. All right. And I'm going to go through this. First off, the console itself. You're going to spend anywhere between $50 and $70 if you want a good console. All right? And believe me, I don't like doing warranties because you know each one of these comes with a warranty. All right? Some people buy the extended warranty for a year. Okay? That covers parts and labor. That includes the entire Xbox. That's everything. I mean, it doesn't matter if the fucking thing fries on you. Okay? A day before the warranty is up. And you message me and you say, hey, Tony, this thing's screwed up. Well, we keep records. I'm going to look at the warranty. I'm going to say, hey, oh, you're under warranty. Okay. And then what's going to happen? You're going to send it in. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to look at it, make sure the security seal isn't broken on it. Like they tried to solder their own LEDs on it, which I've had had people do. And wind up destroying the board. <laughs> Not cool. All right. But needless to say, I'm going to look at it. As long as that seal is on there, guess what? It is under warranty, period. And I will ship you a new one. And I've done that before. I've replaced consoles that, that got lost in shipping. Okay? Just because. All right? It, it's on me. Hey, you win some and you lose some. But you got to understand something here. If you want decent consoles, and I'm not buying them from eBay or anything like that. No. Okay? I'm getting them from dealers. All right? That's why I get them. In, I, I, get, I get bundles of them. Okay? I, and now, mind you. They average about $55 to $70 a piece. So, I got $55 to $70 in this thing. All right, now, I got the chip. The chip cost me 4 bucks. okay? So, I buy the chip. Now, I got my time hacking the damn thing, all right? Now, not to mention, mind you, all right, I have to supply a hard drive for it. And I don't buy used hard drives because those things fucking suck. I'm not going to put something that's 10 years old in a fucking console and expect it to live. Because it's not going to, all right? It's already been in a computer. So I buy new hard drives, okay? And then I buy brand new shells. You think I'm kidding? Look. You know how much the shell costs? That's five bucks just for the shell. Then you got the hard drive itself. Then you got me putting all the stuff on the hard drive, all right? So, all right, you got maybe about 25 bucks into a hard drive, okay, alone, just with that. Because I will not ship it out with, with, without a hard drive shell because that's just retarded. And the only thing you're going to wind up doing is busting up platters on a hard drive. Not a good thing. All right? So right away, okay, we got, uh, let's say, we'll, we'll round up to five. So we got, uh, let's, say, let's say I got the console for 50, for 50 bucks. Five bucks for the chip. 25 for the hard drive. Okay? You know, I mean, what, what am I up to? 80 bucks now. Okay? Right? So I'm up to 80 bucks. Plus my time doing it. Okay? Then also it comes with a three-month part and labor warranty. Okay, which means that if the thing screws up in three months, guess what? I'm eating some bitch. Yep, that's right. I am. All right, then not to mention I'm putting you on my server. Okay? All right? Making sure the KV is good. And sometimes if the K if something happens to the KV, Lorraine winds up. What does she wind up doing? In fact, that's her right now. Guess what, honey? Sorry. Anyway, needless to say, if the KV goes bad within, within a week or something, we're like, oh, what the hell? It must have been slated for that. Somebody did something with that console. So, anyway, we go ahead and we give them a KV. But anyway, by the time I'm through with that, and then the shipping part, okay, which, of course, you know, they're like going, well, why is it so much for shipping? It's $22. Well, number one is signature confirmation, so you got to add that to it. Okay, anywhere in the state, it's going to cost me 20 bucks. comes out to like $22, okay, something like that. Now, mind you, okay, that's just their shipping. That's not me packaging it up, putting the bubble wrap around it and everything, sealing it up, making sure it's good, Writing the receipt for it, storing it in the database, and all that other crap, okay? All right, now. And then, trucking it to, the, to USPS, which takes time. And guess what? I'm delivering it there. I don't do the clip and sh click and ship because my post office lady freaking sucks. All right? And she does because she won't pick up shit. So I'm just like, screw it. So I'll take it down there myself. That way I know it's on the way, okay? So I'm doing all that, okay? So, how much do I have... What am I making off of this thing? Just tell me. What am I making off of it? All right? I'm not making a lot. What? 25, 30 bucks a console? Why do I do this, people say? They ask me why. Number one, I'm retired HVAC. I've done HVAC for 38, 39 years. Okay? This is not my mainstay. This is fun for me. Okay? 
This is fun. I enjoy it. Okay, it's a blast. Okay, I have a good time, and also it's nice to hear people when they when they when they mail me and say, Tony, thank you so much. Like that one guy, Brandon Freeman, who passed away. Okay, you know his sister messages me and says that console brought him so much joy in the year that he had living with this thing. That uh, you know, I just want to say thank you. That does it for me. Okay, that's what makes me happy. All right. I'm not in this for the fucking money. I can give flying fuck less about the damn money. I have people that say, oh, put me ahead and I'll pay you money. No. And they're like, why not? I'm like, going, because I don't need the fucking money. <laughs> I've made my money. Okay, I'm happy. All right? I'm fat, I'm happy, my house is paid. Hey, life is good. All right? So I'm doing this for the fuck of it. Get that through your heads. All right? But I can't go giving away shit like that. It doesn't work that way. I'm sorry. I wish I could. But I can't, but I do have giveaways, and I got another giveaway coming up, College Football Revamp Custom Xbox that I'm building for you guys, whether you realize it or not. And also, there is a sale coming up, so, you know, just to let you know. But like I said, though, these are as cheap as I can make them, all right? Anybody can RGH a damn thing. It doesn't take a genius or a rocket science to do it, all right? You know, I mean, it's fucking six wires, okay? Anybody goes, ooh, ah, over six wires is, is ridiculous, all right? Yeah, rebuild the entire main board, then, then, then talk to me, okay? Or better yet, fix the console. Actually, fix one, okay? Because anybody can add a chip to it, all right? Now, people that do this on the cheap or whatever, they add a chip to it or whatever, are they loading a the hard drive? Are they putting a server on it? Are they going to warranty it? Or are they going to beat it when the fucking thing breaks? There you go, all right? At least with me, you know. Also, now, mind you, I forgot to tie in also the cost to run the website, the cost of the power bill, and the power bill is big because not only am I running this, I run laser etching machine, I'm running main freaking computers here, I'm doing all kinds of, you, you're just in this room alone, okay? I've got how many computers? One in this desk, one in this desk, one right there, one over there. One over there, I mean, you know, my laser machine, which eats fucking wattage like you ain't never seen. If you seen my power bill, you would die, okay? <laughs> but I'm not trying to get on a, on a soapbox or anything. I'm just telling you the reason why it costs what it costs, okay? And anybody that says, oh, we can, uh, I can give you one for 50 bucks, uh, yeah, you better really think about that. Is it coming with a hard drive? Is it coming with a server? Or is it just going to be a chip in a box, it boots like shit, and when you go to ask them a question, they completely, like, just, like, walk away. Okay, and you never see them again, okay? Needless to say, all right? Be careful with what you buy, and be careful with what you wish for, because you could, might get it, okay? But anyway, just to let you know, okay? I just want to let everybody know, you know? I, I mean, it's, it's, just, it, 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 it's just something that I enjoy. I love doing this. It's relaxing to me, and I have a blast with it. That's why I do it, okay? People don't get that. They think I'm all about the money. No. If I was all about the money, I wouldn't be doing this, I promise you, okay? Because this is child's play, all right? You know, I mean, this is not about the money at all, all right? This is just about me keeping myself busy because I'm retired now and I've got nothing to do and I'm going to rip my fucking hair out if I don't do something, you understand? That's what it boils down to. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And uh, you guys, I hope that you have a great night and enjoy yourselves, okay? And... Uh, I got a lot of work to do this week. I got a bunch of consoles I got to do. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue to do them, like I said. So, you know, it's all good. But anyway, you all have a good one, guys. All right, I'm going to holler at you later. Have a great night, okay? Talk to you soon.